Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick video of uh, this 1Q firing system that I built. Uh, I built this system to be able to fire uh, 10 or more electric matches at a time. Uh, like if you want to uh, set off 10 strobes at one time uh, with just 1Q, uh, you'll have enough voltage to do that. The, this system is uh, 72 volts DC. Uh, I'm going to open it up and uh, show you a little bit more about it here just in a second. There's one speaker terminal <clears throat> on the front side. Uh, that came from Radio Shack. This box here is a project box from Radio Shack. And then there's a momentary switch here that is uh, also from Radio Shack. That's only a 12 volt momentary switch, but <clears throat> where it's a momentary switch and you're just running current through it just for a second, um, it hasn't burned it up yet. So we're going to see how long it lasts, but uh, I think I think it'll last for a while. Okay, guys, I've taken the uh, screws out. I'm going to take the panel off and show you the inside. I've got eight 9-volt batteries, and I held them in this box with Velcro or you know hook and loop. It, it's hard to see, but it, it, the whole bottom of this box I lined with uh, Velcro. And then I just cut little strips out and put on the back side of these batteries. So, I mean, they, they move around a little bit, but they're if you turn it upside down, they won't fall out. And I've wired these uh, 8, 9 volts up in series. Um, I just put the battery connectors for 9 volts that you can get um, at Radio Shack. And just take the positive from one to the negative of the other. Positive from that one to the, to the next one. You know, to the negative of the next one, and just just keep wiring them in series like that, and it steps to the voltage up to 72 volts. <clears throat> and I used uh, phone line connectors to connect them together with. They've got uh, gel filled. They're, they've got jelly inside of them to keep the the connection waterproof. Um, I guess it cuts down on corrosion too. Uh, but there's a big red button here on the front. And when you crimp that button down, it goes into the wires and makes the connection. You don't have to strip the wires or anything, or you don't have to solder anything. So uh, this will be a lot easier for somebody that, that doesn't know how to solder. <clears throat> but we've got the uh, momentary switch. And I broke the um, positive lead coming from the batteries. And then you've got the negative lead coming from the batteries going to the negative on the speaker terminal and then the positive you know, from the other side of the switch going to the positive. But uh, like I said, I want to build this system to be able to fire uh, multiple electric matches. So I'm going to hook electric match up to it and test it out. Okay, I've got an electric match here. It's got a little shroud on it. <clears throat> you can see where the uh, two wires come in to the uh, it's kind of like a little circuit board with a piece of nichrome wire at the end of it and then uh, pretty much the same stuff that's on a match head uh, polarity uh, doesn't matter on these electric matches there's two wires and it doesn't matter uh, which one is positive and which one is negative there's two wires that stick out the end I'm going to hook them in. Okay, I've got the electric match hooked up. And I'm just going to test it out for you guys. So whenever I hit this red button, it ought to pop that electric match. Whenever I hit this red button, it ought to pop that electric match. Okay, I've got 10 electric matches, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire them all up in series, and then one run, run one lead uh, to the negative and one lead to the positive on this uh, firing system, and just to test it out to show you that it will pop 10 electric matches uh, that are wired in series. Uh, I've never uh, tried it wiring them in parallel. Um, I might put a few together on parallel and just just to try it. but I'm gonna wire these uh, 10 together and then uh, I'll get a shot of it we'll test it out and fire these 10 off okay guys I've just got all these um, 
electric matches wired up <clears throat> and like I said they're wired in uh, series as you can see this first one here one lead is going to come from the uh, firing system over to the electric match it's going to go through that match head and then it's going to, they're tied together right there then it's going to go to the next one to the next one to the next one so I'm going to pop these and show you guys that it'll pop 10 electric matches okay here's 10 electric matches <clears throat> with one cue Ten electric matches <clears throat> with one cue. All right, guys. So that's my 72 volt one cue firing system. Um, like I said before, I designed the system to be able to pop multiple electric matches at the same time to shoot multiple effects at the same time. Like if you want ten strobes to go off at the same time or ten comets to fire at the same time. Um, if you watch my videos, the fireworks show at the Magnolia Fair, at the end of the show there was six banks of candles that I fired with this system. Uh, I'm getting ready to shoot a show here in two weeks in uh, Gilbert, West Virginia for the Trail Fest. And in that show I'm going to shoot uh, quite a few different effects with this system. Um, I'm going to shoot ten strobes, I'm going to shoot multiple uh, banks of candles. Um, and what I'm going to do is just, I'll plug you know one wire in pop all 10 electric matches pull that wire out stick the next wire in for the next effect uh, they're going to be spread out through the show so it, I doesn't you know it doesn't have to be real quick um, it's not going to fire I've got my other firing system uh, that I'm going to fire most of the effects with I'm just going to fire the effects that need uh, multiple or you know the effects that have multiple electric matches with this system but uh, check out my YouTube channel and subscribe